the first one is the owl sound. Owl. How now, brown cow? Well, that's taught in a lot of English schools when they're trying to teach little children how to speak properly. It doesn't always work, but it's a good one to remember. How now, brown cow? So that's a good way of saying that sound. Ow. All right. As you can see, I've also put the phonemes in there as well. So we have a diagram. I was trying to make it out myself. Ow. Ow. Okay. So the tongue is not doing much. It's relaxing on the bottom of the mouth. Ow. 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 Maybe it does go back at the at, right at the back. It might lift slightly. Ow. But really, the sound is made by the lips and the dropping of the jaw. Ow. So a very round mouth, round lip shape, ends up being very small. Ow. Ow. Okay. All right. So the ow sound is a two sound vowel that ends in a brief w sound. Ow. Ow. Now don't go ow. We don't want to emphasize the w. It just sounds a bit like that, a sort of a breathy w at the end. Ow, ow. All right. So the sound begins with the jaw open and the body of the tongue in a low position in the mouth. The bottom teeth can be felt along the sides of the tongue. All right. Ow. Ow. Now, I hope you're saying this sound as I'm saying it. I hope you're saying it and copying me. Ow. Ow. So can you feel what your muscles are doing? Feel your face. Feel the muscles in your face and feel the tongue lying very relaxed on the bottom of your mouth, just touching the insides of your lower teeth. Ow. Ow. Okay. Then as the jaw closes, the lips close into a small circle similar to the position of a w sound. The body of the tongue moves upwards until the tongue is near the back of the hard palate. Let me read these first. And of course, I'm sure that most of you know these sounds very well. Okay, so when you say these words, I want you to really round it out. Ow! When you're saying them, I always believe in overemphasizing when you're learning something. And then when it becomes so easy and natural to you, then you can tone it back a bit. All right. So how. Cow. Now. Allow. Owl. Brown. Down, town, clown, drown, crown, crowd, powder, browse, browser, loud, proud, cloud. Out, shout, about, doubt, foul, noun, house, mouse, mouth, self, couch, found, ground, around, pound, Sound, count, amount, mountain, announce, bounce, allowing, plowing, or plowing, different spelling, same pronunciation, towel, bowel, powell, power. Tower, flower, shower, coward, Howard, hour, hour, 
sour, flower. So the oi sound is a two sound vowel that ends briefly in the y sound. At the beginning of the sound, the jaw is open about midway and the body of the tongue is in a low position in the mouth. The bottom teeth can be felt along the sides of the tongue. Then the jaw closes slightly. It lifts up. The body of the tongue moves upwards until it is near the tooth ridge, similar to the position of the y sound. The front sides of the tongue touch the inside of the top teeth. So you can see that in the diagram. So remember, that sound must be in all of the words that you say here. Oi. Oi. So let's read those words. I'll read them first. Say them after me, or rather say them as I say them. Say them directly after me. Noise. Noise. Voice. Voice. Avoid. Avoid. Poison. Poison. Join. Join. Coin. Coin. Point. Point. Boil. Boil. Foil. Foil. Oil, oil, spoil, spoil, toil, toil, exploit, exploit, joy, joy, toy, toy. Boy, boy, annoy, annoy, employ, employ, destroy, destroy, toying, toying. So this is a difficult one. Toy, ing. Toy ing. If you need to break it up, then do so. And when it's easy, bring the sounds together. Toy ing. Toying. Employing. Employing. Destroying. Destroying. Annoying. Annoying. Loyal. Loyal, royal, royal, voyage, voyage. So you've got a j sound in there, a soft g like a j, j, j. Voyage, voyage. Annoyance, annoyance. Oyster, oyster. Destroyer. Destroyer, employer, employer. And this is the ow and the oi. Ow, oi. So you're going to be reading these words and, uh, and using these two sounds. Okay, so the brown cow in the house destroyed the couch, annoying the mouse who avoided the cow and doubted the boy would be loyal to him anymore. He joined, 
his friend on a noisy voyage to collect oysters for his employer around six o'clock on the other side of the mountain, even though it was cloudy. The toy is making an annoying noise, which is spoiling the sound of the flowers blowing in the wind.